हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई प्रोग्राम और माई सेशन ऑन डिसीजन साइंस इफ यू रिमेंबर इन माई लास्ट सेशन वी हैव सॉल्व द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉब्लम टू फाइंड द इनिशियल फीजिबल सोल्यूशन यूजिंग द नॉर्थ वेस्ट कॉर्नर मैथड ओके एंड दिस वॉज द सोल्यूशन we had got the allocations and we checked the number of allocated cells which was 6 and it was same as m plus n minus 1 which is 3 plus 4 minus 1 which was 6 and therefore we had got initial feasible solution and then we calculated the total cost which came to 89500 now i'll be solving the same problem in a different way using the next method which is your least cost method and see whether i get a feasible solution and what is the difference between the total cost in both the method to begin with we have to first identify the least cost in the table given okay so if you observe it the least cost is 100 here it is 100 we also have another value which is same so there is a tie between p1 w4 100 here and p3 w2 100 here okay so whenever there is a tie between the least cost we have to check how many units can they be supplied to that particular cell or can be allocated to that particular cell now if you look at p1 w4 i have 70 in my supply and the demand is 140 so i can allocate only 70 units here whereas if you look at p3 w2 my supply is 180 and demand is 80 that means i can assign or allocate 80 units in this cell now because i can allocate more units in this cell compared to this one i will go for p3 w2 as my first cell where i'll be do the allocations okay so in this cell here i'll allocate the least of the two values 80 and 180 demand is 80 so i'll put 80 here okay subtract 80 from my demand this becomes 0 subtract from 180 and i get 100 here and the column w2 will have no more allocations so i need to cross this out you can also put a line but for a simple uh, reason why i don't want to make it more complicated i have just put a cross okay now search for the next least value among the cells which are not allocated neither there is a cross in it okay so again we will find that 100 is the least value here okay no more 100 in my transportation table so next allocation will happen in the cell p1 w4 which is the least value compared to 70 and 140 of course 70 so i'll assign 70 here subtract 70 from my supply 70 from my demand so i get 0 and then i get 70 here this row will have no more allocations so i'll just put a cross in this two cells okay so i need not consider this cells for the next allocations again check for the least value among the ones which are not allocated so we have 700 400 here the so least is 200 okay so next allocation will happen in this cell again compare these two values we have 100 supply 
70 in demand. So I will assign 70 in this cell, the least value. Subtract 70 from both the values. So I get a 0 here. So there is no allocation. I will put a cross here. Okay. And this is 0. This cell or this column is now completed. The next four empty cells are there where there is no allocations and the minimum value is or the minimum cost is 400. Now there is a tie here. There are three values which has 400. So I will check which cell can have maximum allocations. Here you can see I can have only 30. Even here I can have only 30. Whereas here I can assign 70. So my next allocation will happen in P2 W3 because maximum number of units can be assigned in this particular cell compared to the other two cells. So which is the value which I have to assign 70 and 90 least is 70. So I will assign 70 in this cell subtract 70 from 90 I get 20 a 0 here put a cross in the cell because W3 has been completed. The next two cells which are remaining is P2 W1 and P3 W1 least cost is 400. Let's do the assignment here. We have 50 demand and 30 in supply so 30 is least so 30 comes here now this becomes 0 minus 30 from this demand I get 20 and now there's only one cell which is remaining 20 is the demand and supplies is all to 20 so I'll assign 20 here and complete all my allocations now count the number of allocations which we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay m plus n minus 1 is also 6 which is allocated cell as well cells therefore i have achieved initial feasible solution now let us do the calculation and find the total cost so i'll just put the cost here your cost is equal to 20 multiplied by 700 plus 70 into 100 plus 70 into 400 plus 30 into 400 plus 80 into 100 and the last one plus 70 into 200 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 I have written all the six values and after doing the multiplication and the addition the answer which I am getting is 83,000 okay so the total cost for this transportation problem in the initial feasible solution using the least cost method is 83,000 and if you remember if I had used the other method that is your northwest corner even though it was a initial feasible solution the cost was at a higher end which is 89,500 okay both are feasible solutions but they are not the optimum solution I'll use the same problem further to solve using a different method thank you